Hey everyone, um, here is how to control your Samsung display using Display Buddy. Um, display Buddy is a Mac app uh, which is available under Setup Bundle. And when you install it, you can manage your control, manage your displays, and you know, for example, uh, using different software solutions. Um, I have a Samsung M8 monitor on my office and uh, I wasn't able to connect, I wasn't able to manage the brightness or you know, contrast, sound levels using my keyboard. Instead, I would, you know, I would need to use this remote to manage it and you know, it was, it was really hard, you know, all the time, click, you know, lots of buttons, go to the menu items and change the, the you know, resolution. So with Display Buddy, with you know, with just a, a couple of minutes of setup, it's it's now very easy. So let me show you how to do it. So if you have a Samsung monitor with a, a Samsung Smart uh, capabilities and connected to Wi-Fi, you can follow these steps. So what you are going to do is on your setup uh, account, you can download Display Buddy. Now we just install it and when you open open it you will see on this menu bar item and from there we will do our settings. So as you can see this is my setup and I can quickly manage the brightness and contrast of my screen and also sound levels. So what are what you need to do is go to control mode and choose Samsung Smart. And when you do, do that, you would also need to, uh, you know, make sure to follow the steps for the Samsung Smart. So when you do that, let me check. Yeah, here it is. You would go to, actually, when you first do that, it, it will ask you how to do the Samsung Smart, uh, you know, setup. So for example, let me do that for showing it how to do it. Yeah, what it asks for you to is, you know, uh, enter your a IP settings so uh, and you know uh, this is how you do it with your remote control so uh, I cannot show you this right now but yeah what you're going to do is follow the steps and you know get your IP address from here and to be honest what I did was I changed this setting to make the IP set IP manual so uh, it won't be changing for example I turn off my I turn off my mod modem from time to time so this IP can change so that's why I set it up manually and these numbers for example you can use these numbers uh, it asks you to enter this subnet mask gateway DNS server what I did was I just got a photo of it uh, using my phone and then entered the same numbers so this is my this was my manually entered IP address yours might be different so when I click content yeah it asks hello this is a prompt from the camera so I use my prompt to allow it and then what you do is just click finish setup and from right now you can you now manage the resolution uh, sorry uh, the brightness the contrast and also the volume and what you can do is here click more and go to keyboard and control using keyboard shortcuts so uh, you can use the con you know keyboard controls to you know manage the brightness and other other effects uh, sound as well so yeah this is how to do it and you know when, when the first time you're doing instead of going to reset you just go to Samsung smart by default it comes with DCCCI, but yeah, it doesn't, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't work. So what you need to do is go to Samsung Smart and set it up. So yeah, this is how it works. And you can always ask me if you have any problems on the comments below. Thank you.